hello everyone welcome back to my channel so dear friends today i am with the another passing package video for the engineering chemistry uh, for 2021 scheme students who have a backlog in this uh, particular subject so they can refer these uh, questions which i will mention in this particular video i will mention how many modules are passing modules uh, by which you can easily pass this particular subject so let me start this video without any wasting a time so my dear friends it is subject code is 21 uh, chee 12 two or 22 two. Uh, that is in the first semester second subject or second semester uh, second subject it depends upon the semesters over the years so uh, in the module first my dear friends let me tell you first module is the passing module in which uh, you have to just cover five topics so that you can easily uh, secure 20 marks in this uh, particular module if not 20 then at least 15 marks you can easily score by these questions let me discuss now uh, first of all uh, derivation of nernest equation for the single electrode potential it is the definite question over there which you should uh, focus over there so also numericals are on the basis of this particular uh, nernest equation for the single electrode if you are convenient with the numericals you can go through uh, so that you can uh, score 20 marks but if you are not convenient with the problem so leave it my dear friends you can uh, uh, what we call you can pass this particular subject with without numericals only by focusing on theory portion you can easily pass this particular subject right next one is the Construction and working of calomel electrode, glass electrode and lithium ion batteries. These are the most important questions. So questions will be like uh, write down the construction and working principle of the calomel electrode, glass electrode and lithium ion batteries. Different uh, simultaneously they may not ask it but uh, uh, it, uh, individually these questions will come, come across over the year. Like uh, construction and working of calomel electrode will be the first uh, one question. Uh, if not calomel electrode then will be uh, construction and working of glass electrode accordingly over the year so you have to focus on applications and advantages also for this particular concepts next one is the definition of ion select uh, selective electrode over the year so only you need to focus on the definition part of this ion selective uh, electrode over the year and determination of ph using glass electrode is the important one in this particular module next one is the classification of batteries you should know over the year so this is the content for the module first if you want to cover if you want to pass this particular subject then you have to go through these topics whatever i have mentioned here next one is the passing module that is module 2 in which you have to cover define metallic corrosion describe the electrochemical theory of corrosion and taking iron as an example over the year so this is the most important question we should which you should know over the year next one is the types of corrosion uh, it uh, in, uh, it consists of two uh, types over the year that is uh, one is uh, differential metal corrosion and differential aeration and also uh, there are subtopics in the differential aeration that is uh, one is the pitting corrosion and other one other one is water line uh, corrosion over the year so these are the important uh, ones you have to focus on this pitting and water line corrosion over the year next one is what is electroplating explain electroplating of chromium again and super important question which i call it over here next one is what is the electroless plating explain the electroless plating of copper over there next is distinguish between electroplating and electroless plating processes over there so this is the content for the uh, module second year friends you can easily focus on next one is the also two questions are left in the module uh, second over here that is factors affecting the rate of corrosion and numericals on cpr that is corrosion penetration rate and next one is metal finishing uh, write down the definition of the uh, metal finishing uh, and its technological importance as in the syllabus over here it is mentioned that write down the introduction part of the metal finishing so these are the questions if you are not convenient again i am telling you in the numerical part that is cpr in this particular case that is corrosion penetration rate so you can easily avoid this particular numerical over there so as in the probably in the three modules there are problems first second and fifth probably are the problems over there which you can leave so you can focus on only on the theory portion but the problems are easier ones uh, my dear friends as per my knowledge uh, whatever i have what we call a suffered uh, so i can tell you uh, the theory portion is uh, much more hectic for the students uh, sometimes students are focusing only on the numericals which are easier ones so you can just go through numericals also if you feel easy uh, easiness were there so you can cover that particular problems right if theory is the hectic portion for you so you can just go through numericals next one is the module third which is again a passing module that is a synthesis of uh, polyurethanes and write its applications over there next one is the most important one so questions will be uh, like write down the synthesis properties and applications of the following like kevlar fiber 
polylactic acid and nanomaterial by sol gel process so you have to focus on synthesis and properties and applications of these particular topics over here so next one is mechanism of uh, conduction in polyaniline and factors affecting conductivity of organic polymers right next one is the right uh, short note on uh, fluorines carbon nanotubes over there and graphenes and you have to write down the properties and applications of nanomaterial so this much content is enough for the module third to cover over there then uh, we can come on the module four and module fifth right so dear friends you can pass this subject with three modules itself but uh, sometimes there is a uh, intermixing of questions are there so it becomes uh, very difficult very laborious for the students to uh, cover only three modules so you should be perfect in the th uh, three modules then only it becomes possible for a student to pass this particular subject if not uh, if you just leave the numerical spot over there then definitely you have to go through the model fourth and model fifth at least you have to take one uh, or two questions from the uh, rest of the two modules which i will discuss over here in the model fourth uh, you have to just go through describe the construction and working of methanol oxygen fuel cell which is the most important one next one is the construction and working of uh, photovoltaic cells and also microwave synthesis biocatalyzed reaction with examples were there and conventional synthesis uh, from benzene green synthesis that is for from glucose over there so you have to uh, write down the uh, for the adipic acid uh, conventional synthesis uh, in other means i can say you the write down the synthesis of adipic acid from benzene and green synthesis from glucose over there next one is conventional and green synthesis from phenol that is for paracetamol you have to write down the synthesis of paracetamol uh, by conventional and green synthesis from uh, phenol over there so this is the model fourth uh, in which you can uh, refer through two questions which are the most important ones like uh, construction and working of photovoltaic cells and working of methanol oxygen fuel cell if you want to pass it right next one is the model fifth in which you have to cover some definitions like bod that is biological oxygen demand and cod chemical oxygen demand also there are problems as i mentioned earlier that there are uh, problems in the three modules were there as this is one of one among them uh, so that you have to uh, you don't have to focus on the uh, problematic part as i mentioned that you can easily pass this subject with the theory itself so just go through definitions of these particular topics and instrumentation and applications of calorimetry flame photometry and potentiometry and conductometry over there right and last one but not least so this is the determination of hardness using edta titration over the years so this is the enough content to pass this particular subject with ease so you can go through my dear friends so thanks for watching my video